There is increasing concern over a number of new strains of coronavirus. People want to know whether these new vac the vaccines can provide protection. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez with some answers. Those are all part of the question that Dana asks, which boils down to, what's the story with all these coronavirus variants? How worried should we be? Dana, the concern over these variants or mutations ramped up over the weekend with a tweet from former CDC Commissioner Dr. Tom Frieden. He wrote, COVID is evolving in weeks and months the way flu evolves in years. Ominous. While that sounds scary coming from a public health expert, there is considerable disagreement over the science behind that tweet. The coronavirus does mutate, all viruses do. But while the COVID virus does evolve, which is not exactly the same as mutate, there are good biological reasons why it does not do so as fast as the flu. That said, there are variants popping up all over the globe, UK, South Africa, and even California. Again, that's expected, especially now that US labs are beginning to sequence the genetics of many more virus samples. And most of those variants will not be resistant to the present vaccines. In fact, Moderna today announced that its vaccine, which is virtually the same as the Pfizer vaccine, is expected to be protective against the emerging strains detected to date just as effective against the UK strain and effective enough against South African strain to provide protection. And while the new strains appear to be more infectious, that's why the UK strain is expected to be the predominant virus in the US in a couple of months, it is not yet clear whether they are more deadly. Those data are still being analyzed. We also don't know if the so-called California strain is the cause of the spike in that state, or whether it may just be that labs are finding it because labs there are starting to sequence more virus samples. Even though the present vaccines appear to be protective, Moderna has also announced that it is beginning tests using a third booster dose to see if that increases new strain protection. It is also developing a vaccine specifically against the South Africa strain. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.